In this HTML5 lesson, we will quickly demonstrate how to use the list attribute of a form input tag to associate a data list to it. This will give your form input field an autocomplete feature that is powered by a data list tag. Your data list can also be made dynamic in which Ajax and PHP quickly access your database of information to render a dynamic autocomplete feature just like Google Search Bar does. Here's a finished product of what we will achieve in the lesson. autocomplete feature for a input field using a data list that we designate. Let's begin with a basic HTML5 web page structure and build our autocomplete data list. So the first thing we'll do is go into this little heading right here and I'll type in the word search colon. I'll go one line down and I'm going to open up an input tag. I'm going to make the type text. The name attribute Let's give it a name of SRCH, short for search, and then ID is equal to SRCH as well, short for search. Then we can close off this tag. Now that's traditionally how we would set up a text type input tag. But this one we want to associate a list to it, so we're going to add a new attribute. List is equal to, let's call it data list one. Now that's all you have to do to your input field to associate a data list to it. But now you have to put in your data list and this will be a tag that's not seen on the page but it will be just a data object that is tied to this input field right here. Okay so let's pop in the data tag and you can see I have pre-populated options in it ready to go. So all you have to do is set up a data list tag like this opening and closing tag you give it the ID of data list 1 make sure it has the same ID as your list attribute here and then you pop in all of the options that you want for autocompletion. I'm using countries here just as an example but you would have maybe dynamic data being coming in from your database populating these options here through JavaScript using Ajax and PHP. That's how I would use this thing anyway. I would use it in a dynamic sense and really having it set up static like this might serve some purposes for you but I think to have a dynamic search input field that auto completes you would have to tap into your database use Ajax and PHP to quickly repopulate these options while people are typing. That's a very tricky process and you gotta get good at JavaScript to do something like that and also you gotta be good at PHP and MySQL to communicate all that data back and forth you gotta be good at JavaScript for the Ajax, you got to be good at PHP to talk to your MySQL database, and MySQL database gives the data to PHP. PHP has to send it back to Ajax, and this all happens in a split second. Okay, now press Control S, go to File, Preview in Browser, and make sure you preview it in Opera or another browser that you know supports the HTML5 data list and list attributes. So you can see right when I focus my cursor into the field I get all the options from the from the data list but if I start typing in a U I'm only going to get the things in the data list that are associated with U so on and so forth it's just like Google search bar works or Yahoo search bar or other search engines and websites and things like that but they're using a more complexly coded form of JavaScript to accomplish it with Ajax uh, I, I doubt they're using the HTML5 feature yet. What the HTML5 feature does, it strives to make that autocomplete field feature more easy to program for everybody.